Greetings. Today we will be viewing a 3 vs 3 on a map Greatest Divide, which is a remake of Great Divide 3rd uh, to the power of 3, Great Divide 3, who knows. It's a Great Divide to the power of 3. Um, it will be, I don't quite remember, I think the teams are myself, Tristan, and Twilight. Versus Setin, Lethal, and Magpie. But we'll see. We'll see. Alright. Let's take a look. You walk over to this corner. So top left looks like we have Tristan. Yeah. Tristan, Twilight, and myself, Child Storm. Versus Magpie, Setin, and Lethal. Lethal. Alright. Uh, this is Tristan's... As far as I know, this was his first game of Twilight. So, I don't know. It's exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. So he's got a 2 max, 2 wind start. We've got solar win uh, storage with a couple maxes from twilight thought I set myself to hold fire and there's I've got like a solar storage 2 max kind of start uh, start before my lab we've got magpie making sure he has a good amount of base uh, resources Setting was pretty minimal as well. Uh, storage, solar, max looked like. He is sending some scouts out right now. And then lethal was kind of more minimum as well. He's got a construction cave out headed to the mountain. He's coming to reclaim my commander. So we've got Setin um, coming out to scout. He will catch uh, Twilight's LLT going up there, looks like. <laughs> and they killed each other. <laughs> looks like I've got some fleas moving out. And we have some warriors from uh, Tristan. Some warriors and a peewee. A couple peewees. Warriors first, that's honestly I like it's expensive. But he's doing it and like that's pretty hard to uh stop early on, honestly. A good sized amount of warriors. Quite the opposite of fleas. <laughs> the exact opposite of fleas, actually. Uh we do have setting coming up and trying to set up a nice little base here. Nice uh Post to probably stop Twilight from expanding to the center. You really you want to be able to control the center in this map. That's that's your key to victory. So we've got the warriors making their move on Magpie here. Uh, did run into the commander. It's a bit unlucky. Looks like Magpie had went air. Just getting ready for a bombing run. And Sentence Little Post did did help out for sure. Looks like Tristan is making his way towards Setin since he ran into resistance over by um, Magpie. Looks like he will get some of that extra metal. Uh, Magpie doing a air run on uh, Twilight here. Some bombers and some gunships. He'll almost certainly take out that lab. Uh, maybe. Barely saved it. And Tristan really uh, hammering Sentin here. Making a, <laughs> making a good showing for his first game. Uh, 
if I don't say so myself. He pushed Sutton pretty much back to the start almost. Um, he does have some metal. He is about to get a Geo up, but it looks like he has no um, no energy of his own. He's getting most of it from his teammates. Looks like I've seen the damage that he did to Sutton and tried to route my units toward his, toward his base there to help keep the pressure up. Tristan just mowing through the uh, the exploiter there. And Sutton's been pushed back pretty mu pretty uh, big. He did just get his Geo up, though. Um, as long as he can protect that, he's not too far behind in the resource department, at the very least. Because he's still got about 10 metal coming in, and... He should be making quite a bit. I think Geos were moved down to 350 energy, but that's still nothing to scoff at. Ah, that's what the construction cable was doing. Coming over up here to build some advanced solars. He's also got a little group of them down here. And he's getting some storms out. We've got Tristan just keeping on the pressure. You can see he's starting advanced already too. Uh, he's no reason not to, honestly. He's making about twenty metal, and he's in a pretty good, um, pretty good spot to do it. He's pretty much put the pressure on Setton and taken out his starting base. And Magpies n hasn't made too many moves against him. Got Lethal coming up to um, kind of pick apart my patrol line here but I've got a large group of peewees moving down to try and keep the pressure on Seton because if we can get rid of him now you know it'd be much harder for his allies to defend and that's a huge gap right there Unsuccessful though. We've got more warriors coming in though. A little beefier than the Peewees. Tons of lemmings here from Twilight. Holy smokes. Trying to sneak in uh, <laughs> to Lethal's base here. At the very least, I am pulling um, pulling them away from the center. Magpie coming in with lots of... Uh, Venoms. I couldn't, I couldn't remember their name. Lots of Venoms to help uh, get rid of some of these Lemmings. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do too much. I do have some air of my own up, though. Not sure what I was trying to do with these bombers. <laughs> so many lemmy. <laughs> Looks like I'm going for a bombing run on the Geo. Nice. That's all I got, though. It's enough. It's enough. I'll take a Geo any day. We've got Tristan over here. Pumping out warriors. He's about 60% on his advanced. Uh, you... He's really the star of this uh, this team right now on his first game. <laughs> I'd say he's got a pretty good handle on how to win. Just mass lemmings into Magpie's base here. Holy smokes. He might get that Geo. Yeah, he's definitely got that Geo. So that's going to set Magpie back a bit. Also allows Tristan to, um... Oh, never mind. That's <laughs> nice. Just huge group of warriors just disappeared. As I was going to say, it allows Tristan to walk in here and get some damage, but Magpie said, nope. 
Looks like the Lemming Parade has halted. I did manage to break through a little bit, surprisingly. But his units aren't far behind. Got more bombers coming in from Magpie to help keep down those warriors. He is setting up some AA close to the parking, though. Looks like I may have been trying to bomb out that Sam. And then we've got um, Setting here just doing what he can, picking apart the, uh, the Twilights here. A uh, huge Rocco Jethro push coming in from Twilight here. There's not too much in the way to stop him. Magpie's getting hovers up. I don't see. Uh, there's a there. I don't think he's got any bombers. This will probably be some pretty big damage here. Maybe. Here come the Roccos. And the commander's going to come in and finish them off, most likely. He did get a couple of exploiters from him, though. So we've got my advance about 30%. Looks like he finished his not too long ago. Getting his first moho up. Yeah. And Twilight is working on his. We all win advance, K Bot. <laughs> Maybe not the best idea, but it's a good map for it. It's a good map for it. Nice little tank group from uh, Setting here. He's been beaten down quite a bit, but he's still hanging in there. It's like Lethal lost quite a bit of stuff as well here, but he does have his advanced solars up here, so that's helping him out a lot. But I mean, metal wise, we've got Magpie sitting at looks like 12, uh, Lethal about 10 and a half, and Setin, he's sitting at about 24. On the north side, we've got Tristan at about 30. Somewhere around 30 metal. We've got Twilight at 30 metal, and then I'm at 30, you know, 15 metal. So I am a bit behind on my metal. But that's all right. My, my teammates are making up for it. <laughs> We've got a nice little tank push coming in from Satin, uh, being chased away by Lemmings. Lemmings versus uh, Raiders, though, is usually a losing fight. Huge um, push from Twilight and and Tristan here. I've got a few fighters in the mix, but they won't last long. Huge push on Magpie here. Lemmings coming in. They might actually clear Magpie out here. Wouldn't be surprised Setin sending in some tanks to try and uh, get some damage control, but Twilight's got a giant flash army back here. And yeah, looks like they're just gonna wipe uh, wipe Magpie out right here. He <laughs> he booked it. He took what he had, what he could, and and he left. I missed what was being said. Oh, I think he's talking about transports. 
He's got three empty transports. He's got berserkers. Looks like a bunch of berserkers and a, a jammer, I suppose. And we've got Tristan just not letting up the push. The only thing holding him back is his lack of knowledge because it's his first game of Twilight. <laughs> it's... Despite all that though, he's doing great. Twilight letting them know you can toggle the um, the Fidos on and off to switch their fire type from like direct to ballistic. So they can kind of double as artillery. But Magpie doing work. It's got what? Five Valkyries? Five Berserkers flying around just wiping stuff out. <laughs> wiping stuff out. So yeah, Magpie, the whole bottom left has been cleared out at this point. Tr Tristan definitely caught everybody off guard, I feel. He <laughs> caught me off guard. I was on his team. Huge group from uh, Lethal here. Jethro's and Berserker's commander in there as well. We've got um, some zippers coming out from Twilight now. Really pushing forward here. Sutton did get advanced up though. Ah, this commander's not in too much trouble there. I was expecting this commander to be much more hurt. Got Tristan. Really nice base layout. <laughs> It's really satisfying to look at. Everything's so symmetrical. You know, you, he's got his winds here in a half a rectangle. Nicely spaced um, pulverizers. <laughs> Very neat. And then, you know... Massing up a lot of stuff down here. What do they have in terms of defense? He's got the Exploiter, an HLT, a Sam. He's getting a couple Vipers up. That'll help out a lot. Some Micros in the back there. Lethal. Lethal's got tons of Dragon's Maws. Oh my gosh. I don't know what that was. Looks like Tristan uh, might have been using the artillery fire. Yeah, looks like he's using the artillery fire with the Fidos. Oh, there, that's what that was. Sentinel's got some pillagers up to help defend. Something blew up. Micros blew up. That commander's got to be close, right? 
He's he's actually got more HP than I would expect him to have. I've seen commanders die to less. Magpie just doing work. I'm really curious how many kills these things have. I don't know if I'll be able to see. Oh yeah, I can still hover on them. Seven, eight. And that's the blotter. That's got none. Seven. Eleven. Six. I wasn't counting, but that's almost 30 kills. That's not bad. <laughs> With some berserkers. That's actually pretty good. Tristan coming in from the south side here. Really utilizing the uh, the artillery fire from the Fidos, it looks like. He maybe could have used to switch it to the direct fire when the termite got close. But all in all, I mean... He's doing work. <laughs> Some zippers from uh, Twilight here. Looks like I've got spiders coming to paralyze things. And working on resources. I mean, I find how different people build bases interesting. Tristan's is just really neat. So we've just got these pillagers, uh, tremor now too, just raining fire down on everything. Spiders, actually. Same thing though. Looks like Lethal got a Punisher up in the back here. He's probably got a... Oh yeah. Right there. Advanced Fort turret up here. Bringing out artillery. Ideally, artillery should be all we need here. Oh, pillagers just destroying these parked units here. Trying to get close enough to uh, shell out that that Punisher, but. There's so many maws. Human, <laughs> another lemming parade from uh, Twilight here. The uh, the tremors and the pillagers are really doing some work here. The pillagers got twenty six kills. That pillager has a hundred and five kills. Wow. Gat gun cleaning up what they don't get. <laughs> Did manage to get close enough to that gat with those lemmings though. They're really managing to uh to hold on here. It's 
just getting close with all those all those maws is just so painful <laughs> two punishers backing him up you've got four HLTs in there surprisingly lemmings work pretty good against maws it looks like I think his commander is about to go down I don't know if he's saving it this time definitely not He's getting a toaster up, though. Some Zeus is coming in. Those will do some damage if they can get close enough. <laughs> There's so many moths. <laughs> <laughs> the mini map is just overflowing with color. We've got a gantry going up from uh, Tristan here. He's got two advanced labs. We've got a big circle, big circle of. <laughs> Of fighters here, nothing in the middle of it. It's just that's his that's his space for it's like a little trampoline. Twilight and I both thought <laughs> I was walking the uh, the fat boys over. He's like, oh well, I've got some transports. So why don't we just park them in there? <laughs> Fleas apparently are getting through to lethal here. I didn't think I. Uh, think that would happen of all the things magpie coming in with those transports fat boys finally coming up to the front here got a few shelling out lethal's defenses here sent and getting a banisher up and magpie just coming in with those transports we did manage to get most of them. Twilight. <laughs> Twilight went to go do something, but all his planes stopped in the same spot. <laughs> Another little lemming parade coming. Almost. Alright, you got that Punisher out. Lemmings, uh... Lemmings can be surprisingly useful. Now, granted, he's making an 81 medal to Lethal's... Lethal and Sutton's combined 25, 26. There's just so much going on. <laughs> We've got Razorbacks coming out from Tristan here. Fido's Mavericks. Mavericks are really nice. They're like glass cannons. They're really strong too. Orcone coming out from Tristan. We've got Fat Boys from uh, Twilight and myself just slowly moving forward. Magpie <laughs> running in circles frantically with his uh, construction K-Bots. I 
I don't have any line of sight for the fat boys, which is kind of a bummer, but... But it works. It... Barely. It works barely. Collapsing on the dragon's maws. I got a lone berserker taking out stuff. And it's... I mean, it's pretty much been it for a while now. But they did fight pretty valiantly to the end. Holy lemme. <laughs> Reapers seem like really good anti-lemming tanks. All in all, it was a pretty good game. Tristan did an amazing job. He really put Seton back very early on, and then he went through uh, later, and with the help of Twilight, they were able to wipe out um, Magpie there. The Magpie said something about the air start. I don't think the air start itself was too bad. He needed ground sooner, or he needed some way to control area, because he really let Tristan come out and grab all this um, early on, which was a big advantage to him. I don't think we're getting an end screen. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess this is our end screen. So, like I said, I'm, I'm not really sure what they could have done better I there weren't like any glaring mistakes that you know stood out that I saw that would have caused them to lose I feel like maybe you know it was Tristan's first game maybe they just weren't expecting him to <laughs> be the MVP you know <laughs> so it kind of caught them off guard and then is basically a snowball from there on out but thanks for watching and we'll see you next time